A muffin. <laughs> I love you. Behind this hug, there is a powerful story about love. It started in 2013 when Julia was just 11 years old living in a foster home. Hoping for a forever family, this brave girl took a chance and shared her dream on Wednesday's Child. I'll do a bracelet. Chatty, charming, and charismatic are three words that describe Julia. I like that. Born in 2002, this crafty and imaginative girl loves spending her time creating. Necklaces and just drawing and cutting and stuff. Julia also has a huge heart for animals. My favorite animals are horse, dog, and cat. This compassionate girl attends a regular school program where her curriculum is modified to her learning requirements. What are your favorite things at school? Humanities and gym. Julia would do best in a two-parent home where she is the only child or the youngest by a significant margin. It's also important that her forever family helps her maintain contact with some of her birth family. For more information, go to wednesdayschild.alberta.ca. When Karen and her husband John saw Julia's story air on Wednesday's Child, it was love at first sight. When I saw Julia's video, um, my heart just felt like this is my daughter. This is her. I, I want to call my worker right away and say, please tell me more about her. I hope we're a match. And we were. This was the start of Julia's journey finding her forever family. But like every story, the road was filled with so many emotions. To start, there was some fear. I felt a little scared because I didn't know if it would work out. But I hoped that I would be able to be with this family forever. Julia was hopeful, but she also knew the risks. Afraid of it ending, like getting somewhere and then it stopping and I have to go through the whole process again. I wanted them and I didn't know if they wanted me bar that you step onto. Right. In the end, Julia had nothing to worry about. Karen and her husband had no doubts. It was just glaringly obvious that this was our daughter. Karen remembers the first few days. It's a new beginning for her, and so we, we treaded lightly those first few days, but inside we were super excited. <laughs> Karen says while they were bursting to share their news, they knew they needed to respect Julia's emotions. While this was a new beginning for their family, it was also a time of grieving for Julia. Adoption always comes with loss, and so we had to honor Julia's loss of her foster family, which was a wonderful foster family. The road ahead for Julia and her new family was one paved with so much love, acceptance, and support and as to be expected, some growing pains. It took a while for our whole family to, to gel, to groove together. It was just wonderful, lots of um, birthing pains, lots of growing pains, learning about each other. It has changed my life, and for the better. Karen and her family say they always knew they wanted to adopt an older child. I know so many people love infants and that's great, but um, for us, I wanted to be able to talk about um, her history. I wanted to talk about her story and share that with her, share that journey. I wanted her to invite us into her story and it was, it was perfect. This out, you pour it into there. This is the power that legal permanency through adoption or private guardianship can provide. The gift of stability and belonging regardless of age. Sure. I embrace the story that she had before she joined us. It's part of who she is. While Julia spent years of her childhood in permanent care, she has since gone on to spend more than a decade making incredible memories with her forever family. I've done welding, I've gone fishing, I've done fire cadets, I've done a bunch of stuff I could never do before then. Now when Julia talks about her future, she speaks of hope and security and unconditional love. I know where I'm gonna be for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna have that uncertainty of where am I gonna be in the next 10 years. It's lovely to just know that you're, you're somewhere where you're loved and cared for. Now I can kind of explore new opportunities and I don't have to worry about it ending.
you wake up and you know where you are and you know where you will be for the rest of your life. Julia and Karen hope sharing their story inspires other families to consider adoption or private guardianship of a child in permanent care. I think fear gets in the way of people making that initial phone call. Forget the fear, because even birthing a baby brings about fear and unknowns. I know that I was not plan A for Julia. And I am honored and delighted to be plan B or C or D or whatever. Um, it, it is a thrill to raise a child that needs a family. She has added the exclamation point to the end of our family. She completes us. And this remarkable young lady who never quit dreaming of a forever family has a powerful reminder for us all. There's a lot of kids out there that don't have any hope, um, don't have really, some kids don't even have anything. They just have the clothes on their back and they're just wondering what's next and their hope is diminishing. And you could be that hope. A story written on the pages of hope, faith, Ready? and love. Julia and Karen's message is simple. Take that step of faith. Don't be afraid. Everybody needs a place to call home. To find out more about adoption or private guardianship of children in government care, please go to the Government of Alberta's website, alberta.ca forward slash adoption dash information dash sessions. For more information on Wednesday's Child, please go to the Government of Alberta's website, alberta.ca forward slash Wednesday's dash child.